we had three requirements for a trusted computing base. Isolation or tamper proof was one of those requirements. And we've been talking about isolation and memory protection. All that is done to get that tamper proof requirement. Untrusted code cannot be altering the operating system data and code. Uh, so that was all to do with you know, meeting one of those requirements, which is tamper proof. The other requirement is complete mediation, that you should not be able to bypass the operating system and go directly to a protected resource. So how do we implement complete mediation? Well, the way we do that is we make sure that no protected resource, whether it's a memory page or a file, could be accessed without going through the trusted computing base or the kernel. Okay, so this is, uh, the TCB is also the kernel. The way we do that is by making the trusted uh, computing base or having it act as a reference monitor. Anytime you have a reference for a protected resource, the TCB has to come into the picture before you can get to the resource. Okay, the reference has to be monitored by the, the trusted computing base. So there is no way for, should be no way for you to bypass, uh, well, one way you can get around complete mediation is by by bypassing the trusted computing base. There should be no way for you to bypass this. So how is that implemented? 